we're going to solve for solutions in intervals 0 to 2 pi on this equation right here. Now, this equation has both x and 2x as an angle. Also, what I noticed when I saw this is there was it went cos, cos, sine, sine, and there was a minus in between. So I looked at the formula page, and look at that. We have one that goes cos, cos, sine, sine, and there's a minus in between. So we're going to use this formula. The only difference is we got our first angle is 2x, a is 2x, and b is regular x. So that means when we write the left side, this is cosine of 2x plus x. All right, so we're going to rewrite the left side as cos 2x plus x. This entire left side turns into cos 2x plus x. And what's the right side? Just negative square root 3 halves. 2x plus x, that's 3x's. All right, so we got cos 3x equals negative square root 3 over 2. All right, this should be a familiar side right here. Cosine is an x value. So let's go ahead and figure out where this particular x value is. It's very close to negative 1. So it's going to be right here. And there's two points on the unit circle that have this as an x-coordinate. The first one is... I think of this as a last stop before you would hit pi. So this will be 5 pi over 6. And if we go the other direction to hit the bottom point in quadrant 3, we're going to go negative 5 pi over 6. However, this question didn't ask us about negative angles starting at 0. So we don't want any negative angles. So let's go and describe this as the uh, long way around. Oh, so I'll draw a smaller kind of inner angle. And this one, that's 6 pi over 6 plus 1 pi over 6 is 7 pi over 6. Okay, so we're on The only problem is we we're talking about, about the angle the x. So let's go ahead and write that down. We got 3x equals 5 pi over 6 or 3x equals 7 pi over 6. And of course, you can add 2 pi k to both of these. All right. Now, we were not asked in this question about 3x. We were asked about x. So all I got to do is divide both these equations by 3. So we divide by 3. I'm going to have 5 pi over 6 times 3. 18 plus 2 thirds pi k or x equals 7 pi over 18 plus 2 over 3 pi k. And from here, uh, we should write down what k is. Uh, so k is an integer and, and uh, it could be any integer. But again, we want to make sure everything is positive here. Oh, I've got to go up a little further. We want to make sure our angles are positive here. So I'm not going to have any negative k values, or else I will uh, break the uh, zero more condition here. So let's let uh, k, k equal zero. And those are some easy solutions to write down. 5 pi over 18. And... 7 pi over 18. I say they're easy because when k is 0, that term just disappears. All right, so those are k equals 0 solutions. Now we've got our k equals 1. And we're going to get from the left 5 pi over 18. All right, now all of a sudden uh, I suck at fractions because we don't have common denominators right here. So let's go ahead and get common denominators. So I'm going to multiply 2 thirds by 6 over 6. So that's going to be 12 eighteenths. I'm going to do the same two thirds. 12 eighteenths. Now, when k is 1, it's a little more obvious. 5 plus 12 is 17 pi over 18. And over here, 7 k is 1. We have 7 plus 12 is 19. pi over 18. 
All right, I can keep going. K equals two. X equals, so now it's a little bit more tricky because K is two, so I'm gonna get 24 pi over 18 plus five is 29 pi over 18. And we got another solution over here. 12 times, when K is two, we got 12 times two, 24 plus seven, 31. All right, and these angles are still, so we're in 18ths. So let's go ahead and rewrite our limiting interval. It's gonna go zero to, we're in 18ths. Ooh, what's 18 times two? That's a lot. 36, sure. 36 pi over 18. This is our interval using common denominators. So I can't go past 36 pi over 18. We're getting kind of close. This one's on the border right here, but it makes it. Let's go ahead and do k equals three. I have a feeling we're going to bust here, which means going over. Uh, we are multiplying 12 by three, which is 36 plus five is 41 pi over 18. And for our second one, k, uh, k is three. We have three times 12 is 36 plus seven is 43. And of course, both of these are bigger than two pi. So we went too far. Those are out. I, I could try k equals negative one, but you're gonna find out that uh, both are negative. And they won't work either. So hopefully this was helpful in uh, solving this problem. There is six solutions. You're gonna have to enter them in following the instructions.